Welcome to the Self-Defense Test Ship, or SDTS, the U.S. Navy's only active decommissioned warship now outfitted with today's technologies and weapon systems to provide the most realistic at-sea, live-fire combat scenarios for test events. New innovations and new weapon systems, as well as a trained crew both on board and on shore, are put through their paces aboard the SDTS using remote control capabilities. The SDTS in its prior life was USS Paul F. Foster, DD-964, which after decommissioning became the new SDTS in 2006. The ship has since supported numerous technical advances for the fleet, including the Directed Energy Program, CVN-78 Aircraft Carrier, DDG-1000, alternative fueling, and much more. The SDTS is home ported at Naval Surface Warfare Center, Fort Winemi Division, at Naval Base Ventura County in Southern California. In its unmanned remote control mode, the SDTS allows for tactical missiles to be used as targets without risk to personnel. Remote weapons and ship control are conducted from the Surface Warfare Engineering Facility, or SWEF, on the NSWC PhD campus. Inside the SWEF is the Self-Defense Test Ship Remote Control Center, or RCC. The RCC functions as a remote combat information center, where operators access and control the SDTS systems, sensors, weapons, and navigation. Under control of the operators, the ship can carry out test and evaluation operations, such as aircraft tracking exercise rehearsals or live fire missile exercises. Real-time surveillance cameras provide shipboard and test range situational awareness, while ship-to-shore radio communications are also available. The Test Ship Remote Control System, or TSRCS, inside the Remote Control Center enables the test ship to be remotely operated using local area network and wide area network equipment that includes multiple racks of servers, voice communications, and video equipment. The SDTS currently supports several weapons, sensors, and support systems, including the CVN-78 Gerald R. Ford Aircraft Carrier Class Combat System, DDG-1000 Zumwalt Class Combat System, Evolve Sea Sparrow Missile, or ESSM, Block 2 Upgrade and Sea Skimming Guidance Program, SPY-3 Multifunction Radar, Slick 32 V6 Electronic Warfare System, Mark 41 and Mark 57 Vertical Launching Systems, Rolling Airframe Missile and ESSM Launchers, CRAM and Close-In Weapon System Mounts, SBS-48 and 49 Search Radars, and the Spook-9B Radar. With the ship Pierside, SDTS is a waterborne laboratory available for use without the import scheduling problems associated with the commissioned vessel. While underway, the SDTS can operate fully manned or in unmanned remote control mode depending on the user's needs. Manned testing at sea can include both non-firing and firing scenarios using aircraft, boats, or radio-controlled aerial targets to meet the user's requirements. All unmanned, remote-controlled operations are conducted on the Pacific Missile Test Range near San Nicolas Island. All personnel and the harbor pilot come aboard and maneuver the SDTS out of the harbor and to the designated range area at sea. Once at the designated operating area, crew members conduct final checks and turn remote control of the SDTS to the SWEF. After SWEF takes full control, remaining personnel fly by helicopter to San Nicolas Island until the test event is complete. Stand by to pick up the countdown on my mark. Range control, copy. Green range for target launch. System armed, batteries released, weapons free. T minus five, four, three, two, one, zero. Target launch, swept the other missile launch. Range control, copy green range. Stand by for missile launch. Range control, we have hostile track number 87532 on bearing 087 degrees at 22 nautical miles relative. SWEF, copy 087 degrees at 22 nautical. That is your target. You have green range for missile launch. Range control, missile away. Missile away. Two salvos, birds of green. Range control, mark India, we have missile missile. Once a live fire missile exercise is completed, the SWEF test team remotely secures all weapons, sensors, and combat systems. The ship's crew returns to the SDTS via helicopter and crew boats and takes control of navigation and other systems. 
the ex-USS Paul F. Foster continues to successfully carry out the mission begun by its predecessors. Today's SDTS can expand its capabilities to meet new user objectives and mission requirements, while also being versatile enough to adapt to a broad range of Department of Defense test and evaluation requirements. The Navy's self-defense test ship stands ready to meet tomorrow's threats today.